Guys, welcome back to another video. So today, um, in Nottingham, we have come to the Central Police Station. Um, today we're going to be making a report on the officers that have well, done us wrong. Um, who were unlawfully arrested me, twisted up the puffs. Uh, we have come with a few people that film around Nottingham. So we'll get their views on it as they're making their complaints. Got a police car going past at the moment. Are you afraid to make me to make a complaint to you about an officer? Is there an officer that can come down to, for me to make a complaint to? But I can also make a complaint at any police station. I come to this police station today. Yeah, but I can also make a complaint here to an officer or an inspector, sergeant. Got any available? Yeah. All right, that's fine. Yeah. And also, while I'm here, can and while I'm here, can I get a copy of Pace? A what? A copy of Pace. Pace. Yeah, please and reform that. Please. The whole thing. Policing and Criminal Evidence Act, 1984. Do you know if you, I can get? Do you know if I can get a copy of Section 35 in for when I was given the special order for Yeah, you'll be able to get a copy of any. Because the woman there said she don't know what it is. Yeah, just can we also get a printout of Section 35? Well, dispersal power. Yeah, 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 it's all online for you guys to print off anyway, which you can do at any police station. Even says it on the back of Pace as well, that you can get it printed off at any police station. Yeah, all right. All 43 forces across England and Wales. Just noticed a sign that they got up here, polite notice, no video or audio recording, so streaming is permitted in this area. It's a polite request. But I won't be following that today. Our duties, our commitments, our priorities, our vision. Don't really go hand to hand. I will. I think they're free. They don't have no money signs on it. That'll be the next thing that they'll be charging us for. We're drinking get arrested for that. Let's say I robbed 5p worth of water. Then you put this water machine out when they're coming. You have to get it some, some way. Keep us rehydrated on this hot, hot day that we're out on. The right one's cold. That one's yeah. just lukewarm. It's alright, it's not a spare. You want to get it off it? I don't know. You saw the conduct or something. I know. Imagine if you slip and fall. It'd be awful. You're still waiting, guys. Just enjoying our nice cup of water while we're waiting. See if there's any officer that's available to make a complaint to regarding on how. Shall I see if you left anything on display? It's not very good. I wonder if it's been dropped off. Who's coming down? We've got an inspector. Sure, yeah. That was the sergeant I just spoke to, just let them know that you wanted to speak to somebody. Oh. Um, so was that not what the other lady was off to do? Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to make sure they knew there was a second person now as well. Yes, that's fine. Cheers. They're probably taking the time for the Google and everything to try and be incriminated. Won't be surprised. Saw the two tier policing on Saturday. So we're just waiting for someone to come down. We don't know who we're going to get. So we can find out some information about our complaints and make a complaint. So 
So for the people who haven't seen the video, I was on Saturday arrested for the breach of the peace, um, cuffed, officer was twisting the cuffs before the arrest and after the arrest. It was some tyranny, saying I had to give details, otherwise I would be further arrested. They threatened other people with arrest that was there, demanding details for Section 35, and demanded details off me, otherwise they would take me into the custody. But if you check out Breach of the Peace, once you're out of the area where the incident is happening, where they say it's a breach of the peace, they have to release you once you get to that point. But as you can see in the video, they kept me arrested in cuffs for numerous amount of minutes before they decided to release me, even though at that point I had given details. And the officers still chose to proceed with it and issue Section 35. They won't take any reports that I was making of battery against my person. And the footage afterwards, as you will see on that video, another YouTuber went and filmed the copper once they found the person and they refused to provide any details on it and get the person's details so I can make the report of battery. So that's what I'm here to make my complaint about today. So we'll see who turns up to take our complaints. Some officers. Is this this lady here? Or was that someone else? An issue. Put my cup in the bin. Sixty-eight thousand views. Yeah. Got sixty-eight thousand views, and she's what? What mine? Yeah. What are you on about? Oh yeah. She that put it on YouTube. Sixty-eight thousand views so far. I mean, it was only two years ago. That's what. Some more officers that have turned up. Um, not, not much. Well, it's a public domain, so do you want to speak in private about what you want to report? No, I'm fine. I don't think Well, you have your personal information been given out. Well, obviously, we're talking in person. What kind of personal information? Well, I'm going to ask you your name and details. I'll give my name and um, all his contact me. I'm getting yeah. my details. Yeah, yeah, I've just... Yes, sir. Yeah, so are you reporting the crack? I'm basically catching up on a... I've got to give a reference number on uh, the 10th, which is a few days ago. Okay, in relation to what Me reporting the crime. I've got, a, I've got a reference number from an Inspector okay. Ferguson. Yeah, yeah. He told me to be in touch again to find out what he's done because I asked him to get somebody's details. And in the crowd that day, he didn't want to do it because I want to arrest him for calling me a Nazi. I've got it all on camera. Okay, so you're reporting a crime where you was a victim, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Have you got the incident number or the crime number? I just told you 208 10th of August. 208. On the 10th of August. Cool. Do you want to take a seat and I'll have a quick look for that? Yeah, I'll sit here. 208 or what date? 10th of August this year. Right, cool. Just take a seat for a sec. And I was also wanting to make a complaint myself uh, about a different officer. Okay. That's what I'm here to do. To the same thing or is it separate? Uh, this is separate, yeah. But basically, I got cuffed up, removed from the area, breach of peace, they said. Uh, I had people coming in my face. There was um, people with flags that were constantly putting in my face. I was trying to record, just trying to record the protest at the time. This was on Saturday. Um, and the officer decided to put the cuffs on me. One of the officers that was there saying, Why are you cuffing him? We're just giving them Section 35 dispersals. Um, and during this time, the officer was. Once you put the cuffs on, he was twisting it up. I was telling the other officers about the, the copper that was twisting my wrist. He kept, had it, my, my cuffs, when they was on at an angle for, I think, about 20 minutes they had me detained for, okay. for breach of the peace, which you don't have to provide any details for, and you can be released once you're out of the area where they say what is the incident. And the coppers wouldn't let me out until they wanted to do the Section 35 as well. Um, but, yeah, the way the copper was on the day, I thought it was disgraceful, and I want to make a complaint about him. Were you uh, taken to custody? Or you no, no, he, he said to me, if I don't give his details, they're going to take me to custody to find out who I am. Um, 
all I was doing at the time was filming. I had people coming in my face. I had a woman that, or a guy, I don't know who it was, um, who came along, put the hands over my over my hand, stopping me from filming, trying to move my camera down. Uh, I reported to the officer at the time, and then they come along and says it's a breach of the peace, and then decided to arrest me and wouldn't take the alleged offence that I was saying that battery against the person. Um, a colleague that's around the corner, he found the person afterwards because the copper says we're going to basically get the details of the person if we see him. Once he found him, he wouldn't provide the details of uh, the person he wouldn't investigate. He's saying basically it's up to him to decide if they're going to do anything about it and there's not enough he can see to get the person's details. So that's what my complaint's about, basically. Uh, t not today, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make the complaint anonymously. So, yeah. Oh, so you just want to give me somebody's name? Yeah, basically. I got your copper's name. He's from Beeston. I got his number. Yeah. And then from there, we find out what's happening up there. Because at the minute, that's relates to the protest that was happening in the city. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Is there anything else I can Sorry. No, um, so I'm just trying to get... Um, um, I'll just use this chair just so I can get my phone out. Just get myself comfy. So the officer's from Beast and it's uh, number 752C. Yeah, he's from Beast and that was the officer that put me in cuffs, twisting the cuffs the whole time while I was in there. The, the cuffs weren't even on my hand, uh, on my wrist, was on my hand, digging it in. Um, I showed the, the copper at the time about it, the other ones didn't care and then they forced me into handcuffs. Um, and yeah, like I said, they wouldn't investigate anything when I was telling them about it. They were just ignoring it and then waited for me to leave the area. And then, like I said, a colleague found the officer and he refused to get the details of the person, even though he said to me on camera that he was, if he sees the person. And this was on Saturday just gone? Saturday, yeah. Okay. Of course, I don't want to take any further action with the battery, but I just think it's disgusting that the copper didn't want to investigate it during the time. We still don't know who that person was. They had the face covered at the protest and the officers just wanted to remove me from the area. Okay. Instead of just dispersing me, they decided to cuff me and twist the cuffs up. So, as you would like to do the report anonymously, are you yeah. happy for me to put this report in against the PC752 to yeah. say that you weren't happy with the way that you were treated? Yeah, and I want it to be investigated. I can give you a, um, an email if you want to send me an update on the matter. Uh, well. Yeah, I can, yeah. I can do. The only thing is, for it to be investigated, we are probably going to need your details. Yeah, if I need to do it at a further date, I will. For the, um, which I can do through email. Okay, so at the minute, you're just happy for me to make the report and yeah. update you that I have made the report. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Because it's just, there's no need for it. The copper knew what he was doing. None of the others was wanting to do the rest of the time. And that copper decided to twist it up and say it's a breach of the peace, even though my peace was being breached. I felt harassed and alarmed and stressed at the time. Okay. And multiple people who walked from away from where the protest was up to where I was, getting flags put into my face, and then the cop didn't like it because I holded the flag away from my face. And after that, I had a person put their hand on me. Yeah, yeah. So like I said, um, I'm more than happy to do this report for you. I'll do it um, for this cop, um, and I will send you an email. But like I said, in terms of a full investigation, yeah. the chances are we'll need your details. Yeah, if I need to do it at a later date, if you if want you to follow to, it up, just yeah, because through the email. Yeah. 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 What um, email can I get you on? Yeah, um, it's nobody poor, nineteen ninety. Nobody. Poor. Like P O O R. P O O R. Nineteen ninety. Nineteen ninety. At gmail.com. Is there anything else like that? Um, well, I was wanting. To, uh, I'm going to do it online. This um, basically, I'm going to get the footage from the body cam at the time, and I just want to know if there's any anything that was reported or anything I can get hold of of the incident of the rest of the time. Um, I don't know anything personally. Obviously yeah. I, I wasn't one of the officers that was there. Um, but what I would say is 
I'll put this in, um, and again, if you do want any specific details... Um, yeah, do a subject access request for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you would have to provide details, because obviously... Yeah, provide ID, I know. Yeah, that's fine. And while I'm here, can I get a copy of Section 35, the dispersal power that was used to print it out on some paper? Yeah, cheers, thank you. You do that. Thank you very much, gents. Yeah. Cool. Can we film it, by the way? Film? <laughs> film over there, but where the members of the public are here, actually, we can say that. Unless they ask the member of the public for their permission. Oh. I don't know why I remember. You can ask them. Well, the other guy that's here, isn't he? He gave me permission. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Well, I say, when they input information, that's fine. Yeah. Right. No, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. But you also need to remember a bit of respect. I just want a print out of basically the section itself. Section 35. The, the legislation. Yes, yeah. that says about what you have to prove and stuff to use a Section 35 and a print out of um, Breach of the Peace as well. Have you not taken your, um, did you get the form? They gave me a print out with the things that it was putting on. At the time the cop was saying I had to give details on the form, but of course you don't have to, it's just optional. The cop is the same to my colleague over there, basically going to arrest him if he didn't provide his details at the time. And then when it came to me, that they basically said they wouldn't release me, basically. They're going to take me to custody unless I provide my details, which, of course, breach the peace. You're meant to release him, which you're out of the area where the scene is meant to be, you know, causing a problem or whatever, which it wasn't on my, my side, it was on theirs. I had people coming up to me, putting hands on me and putting flags in my face so I couldn't see and getting close up to my face. And then the cop has decided to cuff me. And then twist up the cuffs while so I was in the cuffs. You need a definition of the I just want the print out of the legislation or whatever you hold on section 35. Well, that's accessible on the internet. Yeah, it is, but you I can also get it printed out. Am I right? Yeah, the, the little slip thing, yeah. yeah. That, that I, want, I want a print out. But you've already had one. But I want to print out. I'm at the police station. I'm asking for it and print out of pace. Well, I'm not going to print out another one that you've already been given. No, well, I'm, that, I'm requesting that. Well, I'm saying, yeah, I'm not going to print Wait, out. Wait, will you print out a copy of pace? Pace? That's yeah, different. You can, you can Google them, do it. Do you know on the back of, of the pace you itself? Do you know it says I'm it on the back? Yeah, sure. I might not. Are you just assuming? I want to print out. It even says it on the back of pace that I can actually yeah, request it. This is I can you come, come to any police station in the UK, or 43 police stations as well, to get a copy of it. Wow. They, won't copy of pace, they won't give me a copy of anything. Pace, section 33, uh, section 35. I didn't want to do it. But me in public, we're paying for this. We can't even get a print out. At least, guys, we know that this sign is, you know, asking, not forcing. I think this is the worst piece force we've had in Nottingham uh, for the comments and that. Another one of these signs. Yeah. Surely this, but I think this is the worst one in Nottingham. But yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see how many views this one gets this time. Have a good one. Cheers. Are you guys subscribed, by the way? Sorry? Are you subscribed? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah enjoyed it. Like yeah. Six, 67 yeah. at the time. You should refresh it. Andy Public UK. Okay. Have a good one. Bye now. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go, guys. That was um, Central Police Station. We came to make a report. The officer took my report um, of my complaint. So we'll see if she does anything with it. We'll provide details at a later point. Um, the, that lady I spoke to, she was alright, but of course the second I started speaking about the printouts, they didn't want anything to do with it, they didn't want to help. Even though it says on the back of PACE, Police and Criminals Evidence Act 1984, it says that you can get a printout of PACE at any police station in the UK or Wales.